Perfection. What is your definition? A tall, long-legged blonde, a handsome, muscular young man, or in my case, food. About five months ago, I was looking for perfection in the form of food while shopping through the endless aisles at Sam's Club with quantities big enough to feed an army. <laughs> I just so happened to stumble upon a bag of six foot long sub buns. Aha, the perfect lunch idea, homemade subs. After purchasing these buns and a few more special ingredients that you will know in just a moment, I began crafting these delicate masterpieces. And after about a week of trial and error, I felt as if I had finally mastered, mastered this. Just ask, ask Zach Irvin. After trying a bite of my sub at lunch, he asked, is this from the Meyer Deli? So I took that as a hint that I was ready to be crafting subs at a famous corporation. <laughs> Today, I will show you the few simple utensils you will need. I will show you how to construct the sub, and lastly, how to finalize the sub. After today, I hope you all will learn to perfect this process with ease using a few simple steps. I will first start with the supplies. You will only need a couple of things. First, you will need a knife. Now, most people use bread knives to cut bread, but that's the exact opposite of what you want to use. Bread knives, I have found, just rip the bread and give it an uneven cut. So really, anything besides a bread knife, this is a steak knife, will work. Um, and then you're going to want paper towel to wrap the sub in when you put it in the microwave. And the last thing you'll need is the microwave itself. And this will warm the bread along with the meats and cheeses. Now I will go over the ingredients needed. First of all, you will of course need the famous Sam's Club sub buns found in the deli section. And then you will need turkey breast, ham, salami, a pack of mild cheddar cheese and pepper jack cheese, lettuce, and mustard. And you can find all these things at Sam's Club. That's where I get all of them at. And um, you could substitute for one of these meats, chicken breast, if you wish. Um, now to construct the sub. First of all, you'll want to take uh, bread. And if you want a six inch, you could cut it in half first. But for today, we'll use a full foot long. And you're going to want to start at the top and cut it along the middle, getting as far back to the edge as you can. And once you do that, you're going to want to lay the bread in front of you and spread it out. And I usually use four to six pieces of every type of meat, depending on how hungry I am. So I'm just going to use four today. So let's start in no particular order. The uh, turkey first and slap down four pieces evenly as you can get them across. And then I'll move on to the ham and do the same with four pieces. And then since the salami is a little bit smaller, um, I'm gonna use like five pieces or so. And uh, it's a lot of meat, but it's like the double meat at Subway without actually getting double meat. And now you're gonna wanna take your cheese. And for a foot long, I use uh, two slices of cheese and you can use the cheddar or the pepper jack, whichever you wish. So I'm gonna go with the pepper jack and you're gonna wanna take it each piece, break it in half, and then lay them evenly across the uh, sandwich. And after this, now it's ready to go in the microwave. So you're gonna take enough paper towel to wrap the sub a couple times. Kind of wrap it up. This will steam the bread along with like keeping it from making a mess in the microwave. So, Put this in there, and depending on your microwave, it can range anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds. But um, I'm going to go with 45 seconds for today. And this is how I first uh, started to make these subs was using a microwave, and then I kind of wanted like a crispiness with the bread, like in Subway. So I realized that if I turn my broiler on high at home and wrap it in tin foil, and then put it in there and check it every couple of minutes, that will like toast the bread along the edges and get the meat kind of crispy too. But uh, for today, I'm just going to use what some might say is the lazy way, but it's still really delicious. So once that's done, we're going to take that out. And now the meat should be warm and the bread should be warm and the cheese should be somewhat melted. And now for the condiments, I use lettuce and mustard, but I've also used tomato. But a lot of times that takes too long to cut up or you can use onion or anything you wish. So for today, I'm going to take the lettuce and put as much lettuce in as you wish. Just kind of stuff it as far as you can to the back. And I use iceberg lettuce, not out of the package. Um, and now um, I use mustard and I'm gonna, 
I really like mustard, so I'm gonna lather this thing up with a lot of mustard. And now once you have that, you're ready to uh, eat this up. So you're gonna wanna take your knife, stick it straight down to try to keep the, uh, all the ingredients in the sub. Do the same thing here, just to kind of minimize the mess. And once you have that, you're gonna wanna press it down and your sub is done. Now hopefully you all have learned to perfect this process with ease using a few simple steps. Now you know the utensils required for this, you know the ingredients, you know how to construct the sub, and lastly how to finalize the sub. When first trying to make this, it was a lot of trial and error, but after you, um, after you perfect it, there is no doubt it will be your go-to lunch or dinner entree. I have now been in the practice of making this sub for five months, and I feel as if I am ready for the responsibility of a Subway or Jimmy John's worker. Now get yourself a Sam's Club card and get to it. <laughs>